Welcome to Soft Reviewed. In this video, we are going to take a look at Client's Memory Bank. This is like a new feature that Client introduced, which creates a memory for Client and the project. We will see how the system works, its purpose, and how to set it up. And if you are tired of a forgetting your project context, Client's Memory Bank solves that for you. It maintains context across the sessions. Uh, using a structured documentation system ensures uh, consistent project tracking validation of changes and clear communication it prevents ai from hallucinations by making it rely on a structured memory and this is really helpful for developers uh, who are working on projects that requires context tracking or projects of uh, any size or any stack this is ideal for new ongoing or long term maintenance work so in order to set it up it's really easy they have all the instructions provided here you just need to copy this instruction i just you just click on this copy button come to your vs code where a client is installed click on this client icon if you have not already installed it please install it and just click on this client button and then uh, go to your settings in your custom instructions section you can just copy paste this code let's paste this code exactly as given on their website so this will follow this specific structure to work with its client memory bank this is my custom instructions that i was using earlier i don't think now i'll need this but let's just cut this and we will have to give the context now do you know what this project is about now i don't have any memory files let's see if it's creating that memory file this turn we need our project brief so it already provided me like what this is about and i also have like my requirement here which i can copy and paste in order to activate this let's ask initialize memory bank as you can see now it's creating all these files so whenever you want uh, to update this if you have made some changes and need to update this memory bank you can say update memory bank this ensures that clients keep track of progress and uh, adapts uh, the changes accordingly so the core workflow is in the plan mode it reads the memory bank validate the existing content and develops a strategy for the next steps and presents like a structured approach that's what's happening in the plan mode but once you toggle it to the act mode then it checks the memory bank for relevant content updates uh, document based on progress and applies uh, the learned rules uh, that in dot client rules uh, file and executes uh, the task uh, effectively you can for best practice always use plan mode for brainstorming and strategic discussions use act mode for execution and implementation and allow dot client rules to evolve naturally over time trust client to remember and apply project specific insights so some of the commands would be like follow your custom instructions that ensures a client read and applies the context the other command is initialize memory bank starts like a new memory system update memory bank reviews and update all documentation you can toggle between plan and act mode and as you can see the memory bank has been initialized with the, all the required core files like a project brief so if i just see these are the rules that it created and this is the uh, project brief that we initially created it can be automatically created or if you want more control you can uh, specifically say your requirement right like update the memory bank instruction and if i want i can just paste this information and i can ask it to update the memory bank i can give it that instruction so that it can update my precise instructions as you can see it's updating the new changes to the uh, uh, .md and if you look at it you can see uh, the files are being created in memory bank so as a best practice always use plan mode when you are creating the memory 
and then uh, everything is set and done only then toggle to act mode client will create initial structure uh, review the adjustments as needed we don't have to actually do anything here it's automated only if you need it to fine tune certain things uh, then you can go into client and add specific instructions memory bank is clients only link to previous work keep it clear structured and updated ensures uh, optimal AA efficiency and you no longer have to keep repeating your instructions whenever you start clients from now on client will handle this memory management for you and also today i just used this browser tools this is like a new mcp you also if you want you can just install it this will let client directly have access to the inspection toolkit so that it can see what's happening analyze log track network activities interact with the DOM elements uh, using the Chrome extension you just click on the install and it will install it will be really helpful for debugging if working on a project try that as well these are some of the other MCPs that I have installed as well Playwright is specifically helpful uh, I would definitely recommend having Playwright and browser tools I hope uh, this was helpful if you liked it please don't forget to share and subscribe for more future videos again thank you for watching and have a great day and I will also have the link in the description from where uh, you can directly get the custom instructions here just follow uh, like what I have shown you in this video and you will be good to go